The history of tobacco is very neat. And to really research the tobacco, how it's evolved over time and changed during the different time periods is a very great thing. And to learn the different topics of it and the different reasons tobacco was here and why it was frowned upon and why it was looked up against and why it was a great thing and a horrible thing that brought to this world. And tobacco dates as far back as 1 BC to the American Indians. They discovered and started to really embrace and use tobacco for all healing needs and medical and religious purposes and practices and they used the tobacco and then they when Christopher Columbus came over in 1492 he was a warm welcome present it was like a gift to him for him to have a dry leaf tobacco and when he embraced it and he started to really realize what it was and he told they told him that they used it for medical purposes and it was a healing method to cure all he took a little bit back to Europe and as sailors started to come back and go forth to Europe it got originated here in North and South America but now it was all over Europe the whole continent began to grow it and it was a native thing it could it was known to cure all it was a healing process and according to Daytona a school of law. In 1571, Nicholas Monaderas believed that it was could cure 36 different health reasons. Chewing tobacco was evolved to cure a toothache. It could be a pain relief. In the 1600s, it was as good as gold. It was way up in the world. Everybody used tobacco. It was a trading process. It was a bartering. It was good as gold, as they said. In 1826, the nicotine was discovered, and it was a pure nicotine. It took off and it was known as a dangerous poison they put out. In 1836, Samuel Green and his grease, and it was like an insecticide poison that could kill a man, he pronounced. It's amazing to see how tobacco has changed over time. From going from the greatest thing to cure all health, it was known to kill a man as health. In World War One, cigarettes were the soldier smoke. It took off. There was 3.5 billion cigarettes sold to six cigars during the early 1900s. TobaccoFreeLife.org said during the 1990s to 2000s, bans were starting to be established of public smoking. It started to ban the cigarettes, ban the smoke, ban it around kids. And it's the how life has changed the cigarettes, how tobacco, cigars, chewing tobacco, dipping tobacco, everything has evolved and it was started out as just a curing method of medical and religious purposes as a traditional effect of American Indians. Now it's being used as it could kill a man, as there's quitting methods, how there's bans against these methods. It's wild to know and understand tobacco because how it's really changed. My grandpa has a farm in Georgia and he has these three barns and one of his cotton fields. And I was always, when I was little, I was like, Grandpa, what's in that barn? And he said, son, let's go look in it. And he started to tell me when he was a boy, it's a high barn, probably 100 foot tall. And it's real skinny and narrow. And when you look in it, there's different layers. There's levels to the whole thing. And then there's sticks. He said, when I was a boy, I had to crawl on every level and hang them sticks and hang the tobacco. And there was heaters in the bottom of it. And the heaters would coil and get hotter and hotter and they dry the tobacco all the way from the bottom to the top and they have to work them all night long until they finally got the tobacco right and then they'd sell it. That's their, that's how they made their profit. Well, knowing that, and then today, I said, Grandpa, do they still do that? They still have dry houses. He said, all the tobacco rights were sold in China. I said, how do you still grow it here then? How are how there still farms all over Georgia and South America? the southern part of the United States, and he said, we sold all the rights to China, but we can still grow here. I said, that don't make sense. You know, you grow tobacco here, sell it to China, and then they ship it back over. It's just wild to think how tobacco has evolved and changed, and it went from being the greatest health cure and being a money originating, being jobs formed all over America to medical reasons, to now people there's tobaccofree.org, quit tobacco, there's quit methods, there's nicotine patches, there's an insecticide to kill a man. It's wild how one thing can change over time so dramatically to change in so many different ways.
Appreciate it.